after Joey ended, I was a mess. <laughs> I'll just say it that way. You know, I was uh, not not the crying kind of mess, but I was just a mess. I really didn't know what I wanted to do next in my life. I I found that whole experience of Joey to be so unsatisfying and. Uh, you know, uh, the last thing I wanted to do was to start working on another television show at that point. And uh, things in my personal life were, were not going great also. So I really just needed to take a beat and, and really think about what I wanted to do next. And so uh, Jackie Liebergott, who is president of Emerson College, I'm confiding in her and she says to me, you know, why don't you come to Boston uh, next semester and uh, just teach for a semester and it'll... Uh, I won't put a lot of pressure on you, and it'll allow you to figure out what you want to do going forward. So it sounded like a good idea to me, and one semester became six years. And after six years of teaching uh, a pilot uh, production class at Emerson, um, I was going to return to Los Angeles, Not nothing necessarily in mind, and then... Uh, we built this incredible, incredible building that we're sitting in, having this interview, and um, uh, I felt very invested in the college and invested in wanting there to be success out of this building, and um, raised my hand and volunteered to be the founding director. And uh, fortunately, uh, the board felt that would be a good idea, and uh, so now. Uh, ongoing. Uh, I just get a, you know, I think, a, you know, in, in, in most industries or businesses, you know, in law, in medicine, in business, it is very prestigious for those who have achieved to come back and teach. Alan Dershowitz continues to teach to this day. Mm -hmm. um, for some reason in the television and film business, um, there, there hasn't been that path. And I think that we're more nervous about being replaced than other businesses are. We're, we're worried about our longevity uh, in our careers. And I think uh, as a result, we haven't been as generous with young people as we can be. And so the thing that I got out of teaching immediately was I had something to offer these kids that they could not get through a standard academic, you know, somebody who, who hadn't spent 30 years of their life immersed in, in the television business. It just wasn't the same. So um, I really felt like, you know, a service that I can uh, give back is to... Uh, not only give myself, but I have all these friends that have such tremendous knowledge, and all I found is I bring people into the classroom, is they feed off of the same thing that you know gets me going. Is you can see the students really get excited about what you're saying and scared at the same time, but excited about their careers and what might happen for them, and that. If Kevin could leave Emerson at 21 and look at the way his career unfolded, then, you know, I can do that too. Mm -hmm. And there is no reason why they can't do it. So um, uh, that's given me tremendous satisfaction. And just also having the time to uh, be involved with a lot of things that I choose to get back to and try to make the world a little little bit of a better place so um it's full so, circle really yeah so I've, I've gotten a, I just feel great about what I'm doing now and uh I uh, I thank uh the forces of the world for allowing me to do it